name is Gal Yasman. I'm currently the Vice Chancellor of the University of Malaya. And the Vice Chancellor position here means I'm the CEO and President of the University. The University of Malaya is the first public university in this country and uh, the uh, university that has a 100 year history behind it. It's a multidisciplinary university. There's about 30,000 students and about 2,500 academic staff. And it is, it is the university that is the heart of Kuala Lumpur City. My entire professional life has been in higher education. After getting my PhD, I came back to serve the University of Malaya to serve my contract, which uh, I had to serve 17 years. So all my life I've been at the University of Malaya. In the first phase was about for 15 years, and later on I went to the Multimedia University, and I was there for 12 years. After that, I took uh, one year off to run a private college and then I was invited to become the Vice Chancellor and um, I've been here for five years now. Now, what is exciting about this is that uh, I've dedicated the whole of my professional life to developing institutions and creating opportunity for people to get good quality education. Of course, in the first phase of my life, uh, I spent developing myself to become an academic. I did teaching, I worked hard on my research and I got promoted. Within 10 years, I became a professor. But later on, I found that uh, my role really was to develop institutions and create quality institutions for the country. This is uh, interesting because uh, when I became the president of Martin University, this was the first private university in Malaysia. And uh, while it started in Melaka, but eventually it was meant to be at the heart of the multimedia super corridor in Sabajaya, Selangor. And as you know today, the university has a student population of 22,000 and uh, it has students from 120 countries uh, and more than 3,000 international students there. And as you know, at that point of time, the Malaysian government created the Multimedia Super Corridor to develop the ITCT industry in this country. So it has been exciting uh, for me in my life to uh, work towards building quality institutions. And since then we have seen a pro proliferation of uh, many, many private universities in this country, including the setting up of foreign-based uh, campuses in this country. And Malaysia now has many, many institutions offering a range of uh, programs, you know, from the sciences to engineering to business programs to medicine, uh, you name it. Now, after spending 12 years building the first private university, I decided to leave because that was already too long. It was already more than a decade as the president there. I went to run a small private college in Putalin Jaya. Uh, and in that 11 months I was there, I actually laid the foundation towards the building of a university college and actually that university college is in existence today. It is the upgrading of the college I was managing into a university college and it is called the City University College. It is in PJ now. But the government wanted me to come back to the University of Malaya to lead this institution. And what am I here for? Well, the University of Malaya is the oldest and is supposed to be the premier university. But it was clear that at that point of time when I came in, other public universities, uh, the established uh, public universities, was already working very hard and trying to catch up with the University of Malaya. And when I came in, I realized that I have to come in and reorganize things here 
so that the University of Malaya can regain its position as the leading public university. And not only that, and more importantly, that it must make a mark in the global setting. We do not want to have an excellent university only within the country, but uh, in reality, it is nothing uh, globally. And more so in this uh, world of uh, global competition and so on, we must make sure that we must have a university that the world recognizes and a university that has some place in terms of being the top in the league tables. So I came in with the idea that I wanted to transform this university from what was a university that was quite happy with the past into a university that is not very happy about its own position and wants to go up. And therefore I push for change within the system. I get the academics to be thinking about doing research across the board and not only doing research but to do research that has high impact. And I brought in many quality academics from around the world. And I brought in young people, uh, young graduates to do PhD, give them scholarships under the Bright Spark. And uh, I also made sure that progressively, the students that are admitted into the University of Malaya are quality students so that eventually when they leave the university, they are among the uh, cream of the graduates because uh, we have enough of getting all kinds of uh, comments from the public or industry where uh, the graduates are mediocre or not very good in their communication skills and so on. So now we have actually changed uh, the structure of academic programs, the requirement for passing and so on. And we have even looked into how we recruit students and as you know from this year onwards, all students entering the University of Malaya will need to go through an interview where we actually select the kind of students that we want. And the kind of students that we want are those who can communicate well, uh, who can express themselves well, uh, intelligent, responsive, good. Uh, general knowledge uh, in them and therefore with that kind of uh, quality that is already in them uh, they will progress further and, and produce the kind of quality graduates that the nation wants. So I have actually brought up the quality of the students entering into the university. I have made sure that good graduates come back and become academics of this university and I have uh, awaken all academics within the system to be really doing what they should be doing as academics in the top universities in the world. So this has been the transformation that has uh, happened in the University of Malaya and I'm hoping that uh, the university will continue to progress and hopefully within the next few years we will make it into the top 100 uh, league tables of uh, best universities in the world. And with that kind of reputation, we can actually bring the attention of the entire world into the University of Malaya. So this has been the, uh, the, the, the exciting things that I've been doing in the last 17 years. Uh, if I were to add what I did, uh, how much spent, uh, time I spent in uh, multi-university, the one year in the college and then in New Zealand. I spent a total of 17 years uh, leading institutions. Quite long, I must say, but uh, to me, the 17 year has been a big year every year. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say there's been any single year uh, that has been better than the rest. Uh, in higher education, when you are trying to push for quality, everything that you, you do excites you. Everything that you do has a challenge in it, and everything that, every problems and challenges that comes along, uh, you get satisfaction out of actually addressing the issues that are before you. So every year in the last 17 years has been a very big year for me, and uh, I look forward to the continued progress of this, uh, the University of Malaya in the global setting. But uh, before ending 
this part about the institution building. There's one more institution that I've been associated with, and that is the private university that this uh, University of Malay has actually created, and it is called the International University of Malay Wales, where it is actually a joint venture between the University of Malay and the University of Wales. Uh, it was recently started, uh, about two months back, and I'm hoping to see that this be another institution in Malaysia that will make a mark in providing high quality education. It is not an entirely UM effort. I brought in the University of Wales into the joint venture and I'm hoping that with the uh, the two brand names, which is the University of Malaya and the University of Wales, which both have very long tradition of uh, academic excellence, we will put together a very fine university that will offer uh, education of the highest quality to the Malaysian public and as well as to attract students from all over the world into Malaysia and hoping to contribute towards uh, 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 bringing up the name of Malaysia as the education hub uh, globally. So I, I think this is exciting and this is another big year for, for me especially and certainly in the history of the University of Malaya, this is another landmark effort that we are making to set up a private university owned by the University of Malaya itself. For the youth of today, especially youth in Malaysia, uh, I want to tell them that personally I am excited about the future of this country. Uh, there is a tremendous opportunity for all young Malaysians uh, ahead of you. Uh, Malaysia is such ideally located in Southeast Asia, we are at the heart of Southeast Asia and even if you look at the whole global map of Asia, Malaysia is located right in the heart of Asia. And as you know, perhaps in the next 100 years, the real exciting growth, the, 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 the economic growth of the entire world will be centered within Asia itself. And being at the heart of Asia, we are very lucky. There's endless opportunity for everyone always here in Malaysia, especially the young generation, to grow, uh, to network across the globe, to look into uh, economic opportunities for themselves. So, I hope the young generation will actually expand their view of the globe. The, globe, the, the, the world that we live in and, uh, and, and really there's nothing in terms of stopping them from, from going for the highest level of uh, achievement in whatever aspect that they wish to venture into, whether it is into their own profession, whether it is in business, whether it is in education. Being an academic myself, I find that uh, my whole life which has been dedicated to, ed to, to higher education, which means working in the university, has been uh, tremendously exciting, tremendously rewarding. And uh, I really encourage everyone who wants to become academic to actually look into it because uh, I've never regretted a single second of my life being spent into working at the university. But I know there are other uh, great opportunities in other phases of life in uh, business and so on. So pursue it with great vigor, pursue it with great interest, with great determination. And if that is what is the motto of your life, uh, the sky is the limit. Work for it, go forward into it, and, uh, and build yourself the, 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 the future life that is promised for you in this really great country. Malaysia is a, is a country of great hope and there's uh, room for everybody who wants to be successful. So never give up, but uh, go forward with a great vision and a positive attitude into it. Thank you.